that you can talk about anything. Literally. If you're brave enough. We, we've heard to talk about school shootings uh, and college hazings, they went back to Alzheimer's, Mexico. but now, this is the real deal, y'all. Ben Fuck okay. is going to come and talk to us about goose attacks. Yeah. Let's go, Ben! Let's go! Let's go, Ben! Yeah! Yeah, Ben! Oh, yeah! Good evening, everyone. Please let me set the mood. You just had a fun night with all your friends, and now you're walking home alone. It's a chilly 50 degrees, a quarter to midnight, and you feel like something's watching you. And then you hear it, a honk. And then out of the shadows, this bad boy emerges. <laughs> what is he going to do to you? What could you have possibly done to summon this beast? And most importantly, what do you do if he attacks you? Well, my name is Ben Funk, and today in my presentation about geese attacks, I hope to answer all three of those questions. Back where I came from, I went to a community college called Victor Valley Community College. Pretty clicky. And at that college, I have actually witnessed college kids be sent in ambulances to hospitals because of geese attacks. These attacks are a real and very important thing, and I intend to inform you all about them. So in my presentation, I will show you how geese attack, why geese attack, and what to do during a goose attack. First, we're gonna talk about the various ways a goose can hurt you. <laughs> Biting and wing bashing. <laughs> All right, there's this misnomer out there that geese can break your femur. It's wrong, science. Geese bones are hollow. You have solid human bones. It's impossible, so don't worry about a goose ever breaking your femur. But there are still many other worries you need to be concerned with, such as biting. If a goose bites you, oh, it's just a small pinch. Well, geese are very diseased. So, I hope you seek medical help, even if you get a small little bite from a goose. Next up, geese can charge you and hit you with their wings. They'll be like a middle linebacker in the NFL, and no one wants to be hit by the Ray Lewis of geese. <laughs> geese are definitely pack animals. So if you see them in a pack, please take a little bit more precaution around them. Next up, geese bring down planes. Birds can often get sucked into the turbines of planes, or they can even go through the cockpit windows. Bad news, they have to either crash land or emergency land. We hope it's emergency. According to gooserelief.com, an estimated of $600 million worth of damage has been done to airplanes from goose and other bird-related incidents. Over 500 planes have had to either crash land or land in emergency due to birds and geese. The most brutal incident was in 2006 when an Easter Airlines plane had to crash land into the Boston Harbor, killing a total of 62 people. That's not what it says. So, geese, they're not jerks just to be jerks. They have their underlying meanings and morals, just like us. They're very territorial and want to protect their eggs. GeeseRelief.com advises people to beware of geese during breeding season. <laughs> Breeding season is in spring. This isn't very important. I'm not about to get to why. Geese are very protective of their eggs and their young. If a geese lays a nest near you and you come in any proximity of that goose or that nest, they will attack you because they want to protect their young, just like a mother and her child. Male geese are the most common culprit. This is because not only are they wanting to protect their young in their nest, but they also want to protect their mate as well. Geese lack fear. It's terrifying. It truly is. Uh, Gooserelief.com also urges people, please do not feed geese, because when you feed a goose, you're basically telling that goose, please lay your nest here. Live here. That way, the next time I come back, you can attack me. And that's bad. So please do not feed the geese. Geese used to be endangered. Back in the day in America, geese were just going out. So the USA was like, hey, let's protect geese. So you're not allowed to harm a goose, you're not allowed to hunt them, you're not allowed to kill them or anything. 
So what did this cause? Now we have an overpopulation of geese that have never known us as a fear. They don't see us as a threat. They don't know that we're more powerful than them. They look at us like we look at geese. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so odds are at some point in your life, you will come face to face with a goose and it may or probably will attack you. So here are some three defensive strategies that I've got from OhioGeeseControl.com and Mother Nature Network. The first one, eye contact. Very important. You wanna keep eye contact with your goose because you're showing that you respect the goose and that the goose is gonna respect you back. Very beautiful. Next up, back away. If you turn a corner and there's an enraged goose, Back away slowly and can't go the way you came. That's fine. Remain calm. They're like a mirror. If you start freaking out, the goose will start freaking out. And when the geese start freaking out, they attack. Now here are three of my own personal <laughs> strategies. I find these super effective. If you don't want to take your chance with a goose, hopefully you're a fast runner. <laughs> Get away. Next up, offer a sacrifice. <laughs> Let's say you're in the park with a group of friends, your significant other, a goose shows up. <laughs> offer, that go offer your friend up to that goose. The goose will let you go. <laughs> the fetal position. If you know you're just going to get your butt handed to you by this goose, I really, really do suggest you just crawl up into a ball and just like in an earthquake, protect the major body parts, neck, head, and eyes. Okay, so here's the defensive strategies. Well, let's, you seem like a confident bunch. Let's say you go, no, I wanna take the pain to the goose. <laughs> well, I got some offensive strategies for you people. <laughs> the famous goose choke. What you wanna do is you're gonna bend down to the goose, gonna wrap your hand around the neck of the goose, pick him up, do a circular windmill motion. <laughs> And just let that baby go. <laughs> I doubt it comes back. <laughs> and then we have the famous goose kick. These are very meaty animals. You can kick that thing as hard as you want and you will have no repercussions. <laughs> All right, now that we've gone over how geese attack, why geese attack, and what exactly to do during a goose attack, I hope that in that point in your life, when you are face to face with the goose, you will know exactly how to handle it and what to do. Thank you all for your time and your attention. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go!